Welcome back to the channel, my amazing followers. Today, I am super excited to introduce you to some incredible new tools that completely blew me away. I just had to share them with you. Let's dive right in. MM Audio, the cutting edge model designed to generate audio for any given video, has just released their official training guide. Now you can create your own custom data set of audio samples and use their provided scripts to train the model tailored to your needs. They've included a comprehensive guide that walks you through the entire process from preparing your data set to running the necessary commands. This tool opens up incredible possibilities for sound design, cinema, animation, and so much more. The quality of the generated audio in some of their demo videos is seriously impressive and serves as a great reference. Plus, they've even shared custom trained weights in their guide to help you get started faster. If you are into audio generation or creative projects, this is definitely something you'll want to check out. The only downside is that achieving maximum training speed requires some serious hardware. When training the base model with two H100 GPUs, you'll need around three five gigabytes per second of random read speed. Unfortunately, traditional spinning disks won't cut it, and even most consumer grade SSDs might struggle to keep up. So if you are planning to dive into this, be prepared for those requirements. According to the team behind the model, your best bet is to have a system with enough memory so that the operating system can cache the data. This way, the data is read directly from RAM instead of disk, significantly speeding up the process. It's a bit of a hardware hurdle, but for those serious about audio generation, it's worth the investment. Korea, the platform known for its image and video generation, just rolled out a major upgrade to their video system. They've introduced a feature that allows you to transform 2D images into 4D, change their angles, and generate entirely new images. This is absolutely revolutionary. It looks like they're using technology similar to Trellis, a model that can also transform 2D images into 3D, but Korea's output quality seems to be on another level. I am especially curious to see how their new system handles human figures, imagine the possibilities for animation, design, and storytelling. What do you think about this upgrade? Do you see yourself using this kind of technology? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, the next tool I want to talk about is the Go With The Flow model. This is an incredibly intuitive and efficient way to control the motion patterns in video diffusion models. Essentially, it gives you the power to decide how the camera and objects within a scene move, allowing for precise customization of motion. But that's not all it even lets you transfer motion patterns from one video to another, opening up a world of creative possibilities. Here is how it works. Instead of using pure, independent, and identically distributed IID, Gaussian noise, which is common in many diffusion models, the team behind Go With The Flow introduced warped noise during the fine tuning process. This subtle but powerful tweak allows the model to better capture and replicate motion dynamics. And the best part? The computational cost during inference remains exactly the same as running the base model, so you are not sacrificing efficiency for creativity. What makes this tool truly stand out is its user-friendly approach. For example, you can draw a path to define how you want the camera or an object to move, cut an object from an image, and then animate it seamlessly using the model. This level of control is a game changer for creators working in animation, video editing, or even experimental art. If you are someone who loves to experiment with motion and storytelling, this tool is definitely worth exploring. What would you create with this kind of control? Cosmos. The incredible multimodal model developed by NVIDIA is now available in a comfy UI version. For those who don't know, Cosmos is a groundbreaking model capable of generating videos that follow the laws of physics, making it a game changer for realistic simulations and creative projects. Thanks to the Comfy UI Anonymous group, a series of tools and workflows have been created to let you run NVIDIA's Cosmos model directly within Comfy UI. 
To get started, you'll need to download the text encoder and VAE models. But here is a heads up. Their T5 XXL model isn't the same as the one used in Flux models, so you'll need to pay extra attention when moving it to the Comfy UI folder. The group has shared at least four different diffusion models to run Cosmos locally, along with prepared workflows for text-to-video and image-to-video generation. How cool is that? I don't know about you, but I am super curious to see how this performs, especially with its ability to create physics compliant videos. What would you create with this kind of tool? Let me know in the comments. Next, we have an incredible tool created by a friend of mine, Alison, and I just have to share it with you. He developed a user interface for Diffusion Pipe, specifically designed for Hunyuan LoRa Trainer. What makes this tool stand out is how easy it is to install no more headaches with library installations, CUDA versions, or complicated setups. All you need to do is install Docker for desktop and follow his step-by-step -step guide. Allison spent countless hours crafting a clean Gradio interface and putting together a super detailed tutorial to make the process as smooth as possible. Here is how it works. You simply give your training a name, drag and drop your images or videos, and most of the paths and configurations are automatically generated for you. The only thing you'll need to tweak are the training parameters, like selecting your learning rate or batch size. Once that's done, just hit start and you are good to go. No more installation nightmares, my friends. Just follow the prerequisites and you are all set. Oh, and if you prefer cloud-based solutions, you can even use this tool on platforms like RunPod. If you've ever struggled with setting up training environments, this tool is an absolute game changer. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a deeper dive or tutorial on how to use it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel support it means the world to me and helps this community grow. Thank you for being part of this journey. See you in the next video.